Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial. Today, taking a look at William Perry, aka The Fridge or The Refrigerator. And it's funny because this guy can basically be used as a fullback or a defensive tackle. That's just how big of a player he was and how fun he was uh, to use in Madden in previous years. And I'm just recreating him here. This was a comment actually by a viewer probably a couple months ago, to be honest with you. This guy's been on my list for quite a bit. And I'm just now getting around to him. So going in, going on into William Perry and sort of what his impact on football was in general wasn't really uh, a crazy player in terms of winning a bunch of accolades like Pro Bowlers or Pro Bowls and being an All Pro player, being you know perennially one of the best defensive tackles in the league. Nothing like that. Nothing too crazy. Um, but did have decent numbers in his career, you know, at a career high of five and a half sacks one season, 1991. Uh, got a couple sacks, you know, every year, basically. Um, part of the conflict with him was that when Buddy Ryan was defensive coordinator for Chicago, uh, he was a guy that didn't want to play the fridge or William Perry. So um, that probably also was a play a little bit of a role in him actually making an impact on games. However, Mike Dicka, who actually drafted him, wanted to play him basically at fullback so he was a guy that could be used in goal line situations uh, as a power player and that's the reason why you see William Perry with a fullback card in Madden Ultimate Team uh, a lot of years especially during their winter Christmas promotions they uh, things like that they will always they are they have a tendency to release a William Refrigerator fullback or a uh, Sheldon Richardson out of position fullback uh, who regularly plays defensive end. They just like to do those little fun, th little fun things. And uh, you know, William Perry actually was used on the goal line legitimately as a you know ball carrier. And uh, also one of the big things about William Perry is the fact that he was such a monstrous figure, basically around 350 pounds um, and, and six two, just an absolute beast. That's obviously how his nickname came about, The Fridge, you know, that's just, just a monster of a human being, and uh, that's just got to be crazy intimidating to have gone up against that guy as a ball carrier, as a fullback. Um, so again, in Madden, he actually has been given cards that are both defensive tackle and our fullback, uh, our fullback cards, so you can actually typically ut utilize him at the fullback position as a ball carrier, which is really funny, and it just adds a little bit of uh, humor to the game uh, of Madden in general. It makes Ultimate Team a little bit more fun, uh, which is always a good sign because sometimes Ultimate Team can get a little bit crazy in Madden. Um, things can just kind of get out of control and crazy, unrealistic. So it's fun to kind of do things like that and to use a player like this. So uh, going on into the actual equipment you see me uh, putting on now, he did have, I love the neck pad on players. It's just a cool retro type of equipment thing that you really don't see a lot of guys wear i don't know i just feel like it makes them look a lot cooler whenever they wear it had a pretty crazy face mask too he does have the one bar down the middle of his face mask down the center um the neck pad uh the big gut he's got two wrists i, I actually did tape yeah tape wrist heavy on both ends this <clears throat> the socks i believe for chicago though i don't think are anything you can actually alter i think it's basically gonna stay at what it is right there on the screen i don't think yeah, yeah, yeah see when i change it to high i don't think anything even shows up uh, i think i go with the pintos or the nike vintage yeah uh and i think i do give him yeah the white full spat the taped up um socks just because i think that look looks a little bit more authentic in reference to the 85 bears in the 80s bears where they had a lot of white on the uh the cleats and the socks they just didn't have a lot of um, crazy different color cleats like they do nowadays pretty basic like that and that's what I went uh, that's what I went with now getting into the actual ratings now the defensive tackle spot if you hadn't known William Perry and how he played which you know I really don't even know how he played to be honest with you uh, I always wasn't alive to watch him play I can always watch highlights but you never get the real feel of, of how great of a player was by highlights um, but if you hadn't played or hadn't watched him play, you'd probably think just by the Madden range in previous years that this guy was like a Hall of Fame defensive tackle, uh, which just simply uh, is not the case for William Perry. Um, but because they just they gave him like a legendary card, and that's just uh, not what he was. But uh, I still boost a lot of his stats right here, a lot of the ratings. I give him pretty high pursuit, play recognition, block shed, 99 strength. Um, that one probably not too big of too far off. You know, pretty strong dude. Um, but you know, I, I like to boost the stats a little bit. Again, this is a completely subjective section right here, the rating section. Do what you want with it. Have fun with it. Uh, but I did have a request to do William Perry from a viewer. So again, feel free to leave requests down in the comment section. I will get to them eventually. 
But that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Madden player creation tutorials. I'm going to be continuing on doing these videos throughout the summer. Once again, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And, yep, thanks for watching.